All right, all right, all right. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay, hey guys, it's Karen here, back with another video today. We're going to be doing some reacting, and now I wanted to do this video a couple days ago, but I didn't get around to doing it, so here I am now doing it. Yay. And we're reacting to that new um, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus trailer, which actually... Hisui and Zoro, Zoro and Zoro arc. I already reacted to the initial trailer, but now they're just going to go more in depth about it, so I guess let's watch it. We're watching that one first and then the BDS peep trailer. <laughs> so here we go. I'm so excited for Legends Arceus, though. It's a bit loud. Oh, but that, that snowy area looks so good. Look at that little Hisui and Zorua! Oh man, I'm a big fan of Zorua and Zoroark. Normal ghost. Yeah, that's what people that's what people said it was gonna be. Alright. And then that right there, that's a cool one. Normal ghost. Yeah, and people are saying it attacks the trainer as well. Some of those moves. Okay, Friday, January 28th. Both of these games are releasing on Friday. Ooh! Ooh! Definitely getting that. Ooh, also getting that. Nice. I might be getting that. I don't really care a whole too lot about that. But okay, that was nice. And then the BDSP trailer. Okay, so first, first, I would like to talk about that one for a second. So, uh, I'm I have a theory. So they're they're going through and adding all these lots of Gen Five Pokemon and all that, giving them some new Hisuian forms, which is really cool. Which I'm a really huge fan of. I really like Gen Five a lot. And actually, Zoro and Zoroark, uh, they originally like when they were like. Mm, kind of new. I um, I really thought they were really awesome and all that, and I thought they were like some of the coolest Pokemon. I actually thought they were mythical Pokemon <laughs> until I realized that they weren't, and now they're super, super common in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I mean, I, I, I don't know how common they are in that game. I think they're like a bit rare to get, but like, you can just easily get a Zorua <laughs> in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon or something. So yeah. Anyway, Really excited to see that. That's actually... I'm totally going to be playing Legends Arceus when it comes out. I'm going to be pre-ordering the game. I don't know when, but, you know, I'm totally going to be playing that. But now, the game I'm actually slightly more excited for right now because it's closer to its release, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And I'll give you my reasons why after I see this trailer, but it looks like it's Team Galactic-based, so... Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Ooh, that looks so cool. This remixed music. Oh, look at all these great screenshots. Oh, this, this, this just looks... Oh my god, this gym looks good. Oh, I don't know about her, though. She doesn't have a nose. <laughs> but um, the gyms in this game look great. Look at the backgrounds. Oh my goodness. They're actually like... Oh, the remake... Of, oh my god. The remakes of this gym look so good. Which I actually played through Platinum and I haven't played through... I haven't finished my new playthrough of Diamond and Pearl yet, but I haven't been getting around to that. But look at that gym background. All oh, this is so cool! Yeah, okay, I don't really care a whole lot about the Galactic Commanders. But the music in this game is fantastic! The remixes of the music, oh my lord. Prin Plup looks better than Prin Plup's ever looked before. Cyrus looks stupid, though. <laughs> he doesn't look intimidating at all in that art style.
Ew, Weavile, get out of here, you garbage <laughs> Pokemon. Ooh, the lake Pokemon! This is showing more than I thought it would show. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Oh my god, the fog and the blurriness! The, the, oh my god, the shift in the focus. Oh my god, everything just looks so good in this game! Oh man, okay, okay. I already pre-ordered my copy. But, ooh, ooh! Oh my god. I'm also getting that too. Um, I don't know when they're gonna give out the code, but all right. So, uh, then we can also look at this stuff. So they have more stuff on the platinum style. I already have a pre-order. Why isn't loading? Okay, so. Apparently what all these rumors are saying is that they're not going to have any new forms in this game, sadly, and that the new forms might come in Legends Arceus. That's what lots of these rumors are saying. So lots of these, uh, lots of this stuff is so good. I'm going to be so excited to play these games. Totally going to pre-order it, except I have a couple ideas. I might live stream it, but I also might not actually. So then you got some stuff on here. Um, Hisuian Zoro and Zoric. Okay, that looks cool though, but yeah. Alright. So I think Okay. So <laughs> So, I would like to talk about a couple things. So, for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I think it is going to be just a really nice, faithful way to play Diamond and Pearl. So, it, it already looks really good. Got my DS here. Um, and one thing that I was so excited to see is all this stuff being remade. Oh my god. So, um, uh, I have a Diamond playthrough that I haven't really been doing much with. Um... But but uh, the music, the remastered music, and all that stuff in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, listen, it sounds, it just sounds so good. And another thing I would like to say to you guys is, kind of my opinion on this is that it's just gonna make it the games more playable, because the original Diamond and Pearl, and to some extent the original Gen Four, because you know Gen Four is pretty much the only way to play the Sinnoh region. Um, so the original Gen 4, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that. It kind it's a good generation, but it's kind of sucks compared to lots of other Pokemon generations. Okay, okay. But, we got Diamond. So I was going to show you guys my team in this before I, before I go. But I, I'm, I'm going to, now that, so we've been getting lots of information about these games, like, coming rapidly, and now that it's, like, less than a month until these games are released, and I'm at Eterna City for some reason. Oh my god. <laughs> my team's so dumb, but it's so good at the same time. <laughs> alright, alright. So, we have Steelix. We have oh my god I can't I can't even we got Steelix Zubathu Lenny Sherman Starly and Benny <laughs> that's my team <laughs> it's so dumb but um but I think that these games are gonna become much more playable because in the originals I don't think they're 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 really the what people are saying about them being slow is really true there's a bunch of like there's a bunch of glitches and other stuff. And looks like they're just adding so many improvements. Like, there are some things that are, like, a bit sucky to hear. Like, one thing is that uh, I think TMs aren't going to be, like, reusable, like in all the other games, which, oh my god, that really sucks. They invented TRs just for that reason, so that you could have usable, reusable and unreusable ones. And now they're just ah, sticking it back into the game. And yes, that adds a tiny bit of difficulty, actually, because you can't just have... A lot of Pokemon on your team with the same move all the time, and 
But, like, it does add some... Uh, it's just... It, it feels like it's going backwards in time a bit. But, you know, that's... I, that's that's just a minor thing. That's just a minor thing. But um, one of the big things is that the underground. So it's almost been confirmed that this game is going to have probably a mix of the Platinum and Diamond and Pearl decks. So it's basically going to be maybe a combination of the both. And, oh, I should show you guys this. Okay, um, really cool thing that happened. Hold on, if I can get to the website, because the website's being dumb. And here we go. Another thing I'd like to show you guys is why is not is it not working? All right, there we go. So right here we have this beauty of a switch case, and this is pretty much going to be the BDSP case for the Nintendo Switch, and um, it has like a little thingy for Switch Lite too. But this right here. This is Cynthia's team. They're making they made the merch on Cynthia's team. But here's a big here's a big thing. You see that? That right there. Let me just zoom in so you can see it right there. That right there, that Pokemon right there. That is a Togekiss, which was not on Cynthia's team in Diamond and Pearl, and it was on her platinum team, and this confirms that her team is gonna be platinum. So who knows what other teams they've changed to make the games more difficult. I'm guessing they could have changed a couple of uh, gym leaders teams because some of the originals in Diamond and Pearl were kind of bad <laughs> and some gym leaders could use could have used better teams. So here I think they're going to use a lot of platinum teams actually, which is so good to see because it's just a lot of improvement. And also can we take a moment to realize how cool this Nintendo Switch case is? Like look at that. That is beautiful. Um, I, I still use, I, I use my, uh, Let's Go Pikachu switch case, which I don't even have Let's Go Pikachu, so, <laughs> oh well. But, um, I just, I, I'm just really excited about Rolling Down and Shining Pearl. It's, it's, it's like a game that I, I've been really hoping for a way to play Sinnoh in an ideal, like an ideal way to play Sinnoh with all these nice things, like they fixed HMs. Thankfully, they fi fixed HMs, and um, it's just it's just great. It's just great. So, uh, with that being said, um, like and subscribe for more. I will be doing lots more, lots more videos soon, and a couple announcements, and a couple of other things. So, like and subscribe for more. And with that being said, I will have. I will have the last thing you see is, oh, hold on, why is this, is the last thing you see shall be Zubathu. Bye, guys.